while waiting for the cladding to be done on the truck, um, we've decided to continue with the rest. Um, so this is the floor. Uh, we got this floor a couple of years ago for free. It's an off cut that my brother-in-law gave us. I'm going to cut that into size. I've just gotten to uh, GRS in Nasprey, opening the tanks, FTS tank system sent us, um, and they are looking pretty good. These are all custom sizes going into the frames that we built. Looks like all the fittings are sitting at the right spots, as well as the sizes look to be good. Uh, can't wait to fill these up. What we'd like to do is first start off with a steel floor that goes over the ladders and then a layer of insulation um, from ISO board, then a 3mm plywood board and lastly the Novilon floor. Wendy Sipple um, letting us look through her storage shed here for some interesting goods to add to the truck. We found a couple of goodies like Yulandi and um, found these white tiles. They're going to go behind the kitchen. Oh, they're right. behind oh. the, um, okay. the stove top of the yeah. kitchen. Yeah. So they, they're literally brand new but they're lightweight as well. Oh, yeah. So also lightweight. Um, so that's going to go a long way. So we found this very cool light. A police uh, search light. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey. Huh? Oh, the old one. Oh. That usually mounts to the pillar of the truck. We've also got some oil from Wendy. So that's going to go straight into the tank and then purchase uh, zinc. Every now and then we purchase supplies and kind of store them. And then today I'll also start with cutting the roof rack. And I'm also seeing a guy about an aircon. It's quite difficult to get and aircon into South Africa from let's say China at the moment um, and buying them in South Africa is quite expensive. I found this frame lying around in the scrap steel pile. I figured I'd make a roof rack out of that for the cab of the truck and um, folks gladly gave it to me. If this is the top of the roof rack I plan on cutting it there and moving um, this one up to there so that that forms the, the bottom. This is the base of the roof rack. It has enough space for all the spotlights to fit in there. We actually bought a couple of years ago. Uh, we saw them at a very good price. Probably not the best quality ones, but that just means I can play with the color and spray paint them the color that I want to. We got the toilet. When we had a little bit of extra money every year, we would buy um, a battery. So we got five of them at the moment. Also got some flat tanks going on top of the roof. We finally found um, one of these aircon units that's a 12 volt system that goes on the roof so it's plug and play.
We're very fortunate to have some good friends. The RP from one of the previous sections of the build uh, sponsored us the aircon unit, which is very cool. This is a 12 volt unit. This goes on top of the roof and that goes on the interior of the cab and it's also got a remote control. But basically you don't have to cut any holes or do any conversions. It's got a safety shut off um, which will also come in handy. Um, you set it to like 11.5 volts or 11.3 or whatever you want to put it at and then um, the aircon unit automatically switches off once the battery drains to that amount of power. So you'll never run out of battery life. How's it? <laughs> <laughs> this will be open so that ventilation can go through. This little box also makes the aircon a little bit harder to steal as I'll have the bolts on the inside so that when this thing is cladded up and pop riveted um, you wouldn't be able to get in there uh, without taking off the panel. The mesh that's going on the front is just to keep all the leaves out. I got the basic idea done yesterday. I think it's going to be a hot day today. Got all the main pieces together. Uh, I got the angle right, figured out of the backrests. I haven't told you guys what I'm doing with that yet. And when I say backrest, this is going to be like a sundowner's little deck. And the aircon's going in there. Um, I plan on putting a little pole there so we can mount an umbrella. Um, so we can sit out here and hopefully watch a better view than that. The idea with the plate at the back is so uh, that if airflow comes in the front, it goes through the box and up and over the cab. This is the basic um, angle for the backrest and that's also the wind deflector.
very lucky. Gustav, the local electrician, just came past. I told him that I was running out of steel and he had some scrap steel lying around on his farm. He made me a deal that if I build him some bee boxes, I can have the rest of the steel. So that's a pretty good deal and a big saving on this roof rack. Again, so far this has worked out absolutely free, except for all the consumables like um, flapper discs and grinding blades, gloves and all that. Mama said what you want to be when you grow up Doesn't matter that much as long as you're tough, tough, tough. Mama said what you want to be Gustav came around with his scrap metal. He's got these frames. He said if I weld up four frames like that for him, I can have the rest of the steel. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm not gonna film that. Sorry. So I've just finished up with uh, Gustav's tables. Um, that's done. Uh, so the deal is that I can have all of this steel then, the steel that was left over. On the next video we finally get started with the uh, exterior cladding as well as I finish up with the roof rack.